we diagnose a surprising number of patients with hypothyroidism. And that is essentially that the thyroid gland in our neck is not producing enough thyroid hormone. There are various reasons for this, which I won't go into, but this video will tell you about the signs and symptoms of low thyroid hormone. But before jumping right into the signs and symptoms, it's really important to understand what the thyroid gland is and what the thyroid hormone actually does. The thyroid gland is essentially a gland that secretes hormones and it is found in front of our windpipe in our neck. Now with me, you may notice I have a neck swelling and that is because my thyroid gland is enlarged and this is referred to as a goiter. My goiter is not overactive or underactive, it's currently neutral. A lot of you will recognize that the thyroid gland plays an important role in our metabolism. So it tells our body how fast we should be using up our energy. But it has a lot more functions than this. It is really important in the brain development of children. It is also involved in growth and the way that we generate heat in our body. One of the medical conditions that can cause your thyroid gland to not produce enough of the hormone that it's meant to do is something called Hashimoto's. And I made a video about this talking about how Gigi Hadjid is affected by this medical problem. So we've spoken about the thyroid gland and the roles of the thyroid hormone. So you will now better understand why it leads to these symptoms. So the first symptom that we have patients come to us with is usually tiredness. All of a sudden, for no particular reason, from no change to their diet and their lifestyle or stresses in their life, they are feeling more tired than usual. So waking up and they feel quite lethargic and it's really difficult to get to the end of the day. Number two is being sensitive to cold. Because the thyroid hormone is involved in the metabolism and that generates heat within our body, if we're deficient in a thyroid hormone, then we become cold because our body is not producing the heat that it used to. And touching on metabolism, the most commonest worry that we see in patients coming to us is weight gain. As you'd imagine, if your metabolism is slower and you're taking a lot longer to use up the energy within your body, you're going to start to store that energy as fat. Another symptom that a lot of patients are not aware of is constipation. Now, when we're deficient in our thyroid hormones, that also causes our bowels to slow down. So we become constipated. And actually the opposite happens when we have high thyroid levels. We tend to get diarrhea. The fifth symptom is low mood. Now we don't know the particular reason for this. It might be because you're feeling tired and cold and constipated and gaining weight. But in addition to that, it seems that the hormone is related to our brain function as well. So if you have low thyroid levels, then you can also have depression as well. Number six is things like muscle cramps muscle aches and weakness. And you may notice that your hair and your skin and your nails have all become dry and brittle as well. And one of the symptoms that patients don't always associate is related to the thyroid is the libido. So if you're suffering from low thyroid levels, you may notice that your libido, which is your sex drive, is a lot lower or no longer there. And for women who are having periods, you may notice that your periods have become heavy all of a sudden, or they become quite irregular when they were previously pretty regular. So the patients that come to see me where I pick this up don't actually notice some of these symptoms because their thyroid levels have gradually decreased over a number of months and they haven't really noticed unless I ask them specifically that yes, they've lost their libido, yes, they've gained weight, yes, they're feeling low in mood and they're feeling tired and constipated. Well, the good thing about the thyroid is that we can pick it up pretty easily with a simple blood test that tells us the levels. And I think it's at this point that it's really important to say that these signs and symptoms can be linked to other medical conditions or depression alone. But having a number of these symptoms, your doctor will run a blood test and we will know if it's related to your thyroid hormone. So let's say that you have these symptoms, you've gone away and had the blood test, and your thyroid levels have come back low. How do we treat this? Quite simply, we replace the thyroid hormone as a tablet. And this is referred to as levothyroxine. It's often taken as a tablet in the morning before food, and we measure your thyroid levels after this to make sure that it's within a healthy range. And unfortunately, 
depending on the reason why you have low thyroid hormones, you may be on these medications lifelong. So hopefully this video has helped you if you're worried that you've got low thyroid levels, you just want to know about the symptoms and about what happens if you are found to have low thyroid levels. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.